Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is gonna be on What Could Have Been by Sting from Arcane. It's a beautiful little song. Go and check out my arrangement so you know what it's supposed to sound like. And then, just before I teach you it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, and please leave me some comments. Let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, and you wanna support me, and you wanna print the tabs off for this, I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning and we've got a capo on fret number one. Now there's quite a lot to get through. The first line sounds like this. So to play that we're playing the E string and the B strings. It's in three, which means there's three beats per bar, so three, four. So it goes one, two, three. So that's the first bar. Bar number two is exactly the same, so first two bars. Then put a finger on D2, doesn't matter what finger you use. So you're on D2 and you're gonna play the D2 with the B and the E at the same time. And then two more hits on just the B and the E, that's in bar three. So you've got bar four, you play the open D string with the B and the E. And then just play the B and the E twice. Then go down to E, sorry, A4. Um, remember that you've got a cap on fret one, so it's where five would normally be. So A4 at the same time as the B and the E. And then the last bar is just the open E and B strings. So the first line goes. On to the second line and we've got So we're playing the E string, do it to your face, and then D2, D5, D4, and then a D4 and an A5 into the next bar, bar eight. So it goes one, two, and then it goes D2 to D4, then another D2, and then into bar nine, we've got D2 and A4, and then another D2. And then the last bar is just E and the B strings. So the whole line goes one, two. On to the third line, bar 11 goes. So you play the E string, and then a D2. And then you're going to play fret 5 on the A string and the D string. Uh, and then you're going to play it slide from 4 to 5, but try and keep the finger on the A5. So it goes. And then a D4, D2. So the first two bars go. And then you're going to play A4 and D2. Then just the B and the E strings another five times. So the whole line. to the next line. So to play that we've got E string, D, D2 to G4, and then D5, and then to the next bar we're playing A5 and G2 at the same time. So it goes. And then we're playing D2, G, and G2. G2 and E4 into bar seven, uh, bar 17. And then a little pull off going. G4 to G2 to the open G string, so bar 17. And then this next bar goes, which is a3 and G2 at the same time. Then G, G2, G, D4, and D2. So let's try the whole line. On 
on to the next line, bar 19. So you're playing A3 and D2 at the same time. Then the open B and E strings twice. Then the open A string with the open B and the E strings. Then the B E string and E strings at the same time. And then it goes D2, D4, D5 twice. Back to D2. And then D4 with A2 at the same time into bar 21. Then E and B strings another five times. So the whole line. Which takes us to the chorus. So you play A3, then D2, then G, back to the D2. Next bar, bar 24, we play the E string and the G string. And then the G string another three times. So the first two bars go. And then it plays A5, a D4, and then a D4 and A5 at the same time. So, it goes. so the whole line. On to the next line. So you've got A3, then D2, G2, then open G, into bar 28 you've got the E string, then the G string th played three times, so it goes, and then A5, D4, then E3 with the B string, then A2 and D4. So the whole line. On to the next line. A3, B1, two more B1s, and two more Bs. It's a weird rhythm, that. And then open E string, G2, D5, G2, open D string, then D2, D, and D2 again. And then the last bar of that line, open D string, and then open G string. Sorry. Uh, so the whole line. Next line starts the same. And then plays G2, open G, G2, sliding up to G4. So it goes. Then E3, G2, G, and then D4, A5 into the next bar, and then it goes uh, D2, D4, D2, and then you're going to play a D2 with an open E and B string again, and then B and E another two times. So that line goes. To the next line, we've got so you play A3 and D2, open B and E strings twice, then D2 and G, then open B and E, A5 and D4, open B and E, and then G2 with the open B and E, open G with the B and E, and then D4 with the open B and E. I feel that makes sense. So you go. D4, 
I played D3. Uh, then the last, uh, sorry, the next line starts the same. On this next hit, we've got um, G2 are the same as B and E in bar 45, so I guess. Then into bar 46, you play A5 and D4, then the B and the E strings another five times. So that line goes. On to the next section, uh, the next line, bar 48, we've got... So you play the open A string with B1 and G2 and the open E string. Then play E3, then open D, B3, B1, B, B1 and B. So the whole line. Next line. So to play that, bar 52, we play the open A string with G4, then G2, E3, G2, open E string, and then D, and B3, B1, B string twice, and then this last little chord there, we've got A2, D1, and G2. So the whole line. On to the next line, on to the next line. So to play that, open E, D2, D5, D2, A5 with D4, and then D2 to G2, A4, then open G string, D4, and then D2 with open B and E, and then play the B and the E another two times. So the whole line. to the next line. So to play that we've got the open E string, and then a D2, A5 and D5 at the same time, slide from D4 to D5, D4 and then D2, and then a D2 with an A4 at the same time, and then the B and the E strings. The second last line we've got. So you play the open E, then G, D2 twice, D4 with A5, D2 twice. A little hammer on from G to G2, but at the same time you're playing the A4. Then two G strings, D4, D2, A3, and then there's a, a D2 right at the end, so it goes the whole line. And the last line, we've got which is the open A, uh, open E string and open G string. Then play A, then D2, D4, D5, D4, D2, A2 and D4 at the same time. So it goes. And then I just played on my version, I went the, the bar 69 again without the A string. And then I just played an E minor chord, which is A2 and D2, playing all strings upwards. And that's the whole song. So let's try and play it all the way through.
Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. Uh, it has been a long one. Hopefully it's made sense. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video. Please leave me some comments as well. Let me know what you thought of the video, uh, what songs I should do next, uh, where in the world you're watching this from. I love to hear from you guys. Um, and if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me and you want to print the tabs off for this, you can do so on Patreon. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time. Thank you.